Hi everyone, Hayden from Little Green Alien. It's no secret that I like to make custom DVDs. You guys have seen many videos where I've covered DVDs that I've burned on a computer and, you know, made custom menus for and everything, and I've gotten a lot of comments asking how I do this. So today I'd like to share the wealth and show you guys how I make these DVDs. Now, this isn't like the other tutorials I've done where, you know, you have to use a bunch of power tools and you got to be like 18 or whatever I said to do this. This is a pretty easy project compared to all those. But first, let me go over what you need. Uh, you're going to need some blank DVDs. You can get these at Walmart, Staples. I'm pretty sure I got these ones on Amazon, so I'll see if I can find an Amazon link and I'll link them in the description so you guys can get them. Uh, you're going to need a computer, preferably Windows, because that's what I'll be using to do this tutorial. I actually don't even know if you can do this on Mac or not. Um, you're also going to need a DVD drive, either an external one like I have, or one that's built into your computer. And you're also going to need a program called DVD Styler. I downloaded this a long time ago, but I'll see if I can find the download link and link in the description. I got it for free, so it should be free for everybody else. It's a really good program. I've used actually many DVD programs. It actually took me a while to find the one that I really like, and I've gone through many, so believe me, you can trust my word on this. DVD Styler is the best one I have used so far, so let's get right into it. So you can see right here, we're on the desktop, and right here is DVD Styler. So open DVD Styler, and here are your settings. Um, if you live in America like I do, you want to select NTSC, not PAL. PAL is for other regions. I don't know exactly every region that uses PAL and every region that uses NTSC, but I know Europe, most of Europe uses PAL, and uh, most of America uses NTSC. And you want to select 16 by 9 unless you want to do 4 by 3. Uh, I usually do 16 by 9. So then set, and then you can select a menu template. Uh, there's a whole bunch of them here that come with it. I'll just select this one. And here's what it looks like when you start, but I'll show you how to change that. So if you double tap the menu and you go to this page and it says background, see these three dots? And I have a folder called tutorial, which is where I saved everything I'm going to put on the DVD. And in here, I just have to look for the Alien Adventure menu. So you see right here, Alien Adventure main menu. So double tap that. And then audio. And there's the audio. And then do loop. So it'll repeat. Unless you don't want the menu to repeat, you don't have to do loop. But I always do loop. So you can see right here, there's the Alien Adventure menu. And... If you're wondering how I did the menu, the menu is actually just a video. So all you have to do is just uh, take a video and then upload the video to your computer. And then also, if you want to use the audio from the video or whatever audio you want to use, as you saw, the audio and the video have to be separate. So you have to uh, make your audio a track or either use a track or something just some form of track for the audio for the menu and then what you want to do up here is do this constantly hit save and then you save it i have just this one folder that i save them all into so you save the disk and then what you want to do is so I always like to add my logo to the menu, so do a right click and go to add and go to image. And then in here you'll see a little green alien logo. And then double tap that and you know I just mess around with the numbers and 
just put in some random number that's a lot smaller because it always ends, it always starts out so big. And yeah, you can see that that's tiny, but you can make it bigger. Then just put that in the corner. And then this disc title, uh, I'm going to title it Alien Adventure. And then you can go into the font and you can choose a cool or fun font. I'll do, uh, let's see, I like this one. And then here you can change the color. I'm going to change that to green for Little Green Alien. And then there you go. So Alien Adventure. And save, of course. So then right here you have your Play All button, which you can set to anything. It can be... Uh, to play all of them or just play one thing, depending on what you want to do. I'm actually not going to keep the play all button. Or, you know, actually, I will keep it. Uh, I'm not going to do a scene selection menu just because these are just all the alien adventures. And uh, there's not really scenes. And the last time I tried to do a scene selection menu... I had a lot of trouble. So. Oh. I have to change that. So then you go up here and go to tutorial and then find Alien Adventure. So there's the first ever Alien Adventure. And then you press this. And... Then you do title set title one for Alien Adventure. And then, like I said, you can go in here and change the font to something more fun. Or is that one that I used for the title? I just really like this font. And then, of course, change the color to green for Little Green Alien. And then you've got Alien Adventure. So what I do is just copy and then paste and then do that. I really should just add all of them in before. So I guess I should do that. All right, so I got all seven alien adventures in here. And so then what you do is go here and then do title set two. You can't put the buttons too close to each other either, or it won't end up working in the end. So I always find myself changing the position of the buttons all the time. All right, so now you can see I have all of the alien adventures right here. And I just realized this play all button is still the original font. So got to change that. So there, that's how you put all of them on a DVD and then do the buttons and the titles and everything. But I wanted to show you guys how to do one more thing. I wanted to show you guys how to do uh, another menu because I think that that's really important. So what I do is go down here and it says add, add VMGM menu. I'm not really sure what VMGM stands for. And then basically you just do the same process that you did for the other menu. Uh, you find your second menu there. It is Alien Adventure Bonus Material. And then the Bonus Material Menu Loop. 
and then there you go. And then I'll just go back here and copy this title right here and then paste it here and do bonus material. Oh. And then for the bonus material, I'm going to add, let's see, I'm going to add the full screen versions of the widescreen ones because the original Alien Adventures were all filmed in 16 by 9, but then um, the Magic Mirror and the Stop Motion Universe were filmed in 239 by 1. But there's a, like with the Stop Motion app, there's still the 16 by 9 video. It's just, uh, I cropped it in the end. So instead of actually cropping it for the full screen version, there's actually a little bit more on the top and bottom. So I really like that, and I like to put those on the DVDs, and then I post them on the YouTube the intended way. All right, where's here it is. This should be it. Yep. And then one more, the Christmas special. This one's the full screen version's a little different for this one because it the full screen version like the the way I filmed it it was 1.66 by 1. So that means the full screen version actually shows more on the sides instead of on the top and bottom. So that one's just a little different. It's kind of a little interesting to me how I film these just I really like how I do it oh wait that's uh and oh and it's something I just saw too I don't know why it does this but sometimes It'll duplicate the menu. Which I'm not exactly sure why it does that. But I just delete the duplicate menu. And so something else I didn't do too. You have to make a button for the bonus material menu. But you have to change this to VMGM menu 2. Put that there. And then... So, here's your DVD. Another thing you have to do, too, is go into the buttons. And uh, you're going to have to place a back button. So you can go back to menu 1. So, you just got to make sure everything's good, but it looks to me like everything has gone the way I want it to. So, uh, before you do it, you press burn, and what happens, so I did do this correctly, but uh, sometimes what it'll do is if the buttons don't work, like I was saying, don't overlap the buttons, uh, it'll tell you. So now I'm going to hook up my disk drive and, uh, burn the disk. So this is the moment when all of your hard work pays off. You got it all done. You got the disc in the drive. Now you go over here to this burn button and then you hit burn. And all of these settings have worked for me just the way it is right here. So you just press start and just wait.
So the burning was a success. I got the Alien Adventure tutorial DVD burned. And something to keep in mind whenever you're doing this, make sure your computer stays on the whole time that it's burning because I've had the computer turn off in the middle of burning and it will give you a fail message most likely. So yeah, every time I've ever gotten a fail message for one of these burns, it's because the computer turned off in the middle of burning. So make sure your computer stays on when you burn this. And it's a very rewarding process. I mean, it's really fun. I like to have my own DVDs and all my videos on a DVD. It makes it look official. It's like it had an actual release. I really like that. It's a good feeling whenever you burn a DVD and then you can say that you did it, or at least for me. And also, there was a step in the tutorial I probably should have shown you guys, but it wasn't necessary for this DVD, and I didn't end up showing it. So I'm going to go back to the computer and show you guys one more step for those of you who would like to add chapters to each video. Uh, there's a pretty easy way to do it, so I'm going to show you that. But then after I'm done showing you that, I'll show you how the DVD turned out and what the menus look like. So sorry I didn't show this earlier, but this is how you add chapters if you'd like to have some chapters. So you double tap the one you want to add chapters to, and then you go to this where it says chapters, and you'll see uh, 0, 0, 0, and then you add a comma, and then you can add like 1 minute 33 seconds, or like 2 minutes 39 seconds, you know any timestamp you want, wherever you want it to go, and then you press the next button on your remote, and then it'll skip right there. But, you know, for these shorter videos, I don't really have chapters. But anyways, I hope this video really helped you guys. I know a lot of you have been asking for it, and I'm happy I was finally able to get it out. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, now I'm going to go ahead and show you how the final product turned out. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Have a nice day.